Hello everyone, I am Jaybird and you are watching Silent Trader. In today's video, we are going to discuss on the recent update from the trading view. They have made some amendment on the plan. So currently if you are saying there are the four things, the basic, essential, plus and premium. We used to have the other plan was like basic, they just call the pro, pro plus and the premium one. So the, what are the changes is that here? The main change here is the indicator and the your watch list number of the stocks. We used to have number of stock unlimited but now we have the limitation. So if you scroll down then you will see here there are the changes that what they have made then basic essentials plus and premium. So the thing is that once we go below that you will see here indicator on indicator one what does mean that means that if you have a one indicator you cannot put on the uh, another indicator on top of that such as like volume you can't put the on volume any moving average that is considered the limitation indicator per chart that is the limitation on the two the custom indicator template is one so if you have a more than two indicators that if you are using how you can use multiple indicator so on my channel i have made the videos so if you go to the playlist there you can will scroll down go to the trading view indicators so once you come you over here on the right side you will see that my first video was here how to merge the three indicators so you can click over here you will know the all the details there are the other also video which i have done for the indicator like merge vweb eva ema then if you go further down the recently my the video here was about the oscillator plus the macd but there are the two things that i want to highlight here because there are the number of the members or the followers who always uh, comment that why i cannot do so the two things that you need to understand here first first this is the one on your chart the second below the chart so both they have the different calculation even though they all the everything which is come from the price but still there are the two different things that we need to understand so all your moving average vweb pivots fibonacci bollinger band that's all comes on the your chart that means on your price it will be displayed here but the rsi mscd and stochastic everything which is fall under below so this one is on your price this one is considered on 0 to 100 so if you merge the indicator you need to understand that moving average in MACD cannot merge unless you do the box here right like my this indicator I want to show you this right this is the one so if you want to merge here that is fine you can do it because you are retrieve the details from the, your indicator and then you you will display on your table but if you want to highlight here on the on one chart like you're so moving average here and same rsi also you want to put here which is not possible so rsi macd mfa that can be merged and moving average vweb bollinger your, your p words everything you can merge over here so please clear on your mind before you put the comment that why i cannot merge the rsi and the moving average the second thing whenever you are copying the any indicator just example i will take here any indicator from the community or the technical um, okay like this one i'll just put the auto fibonacci so here there is a auto fibonacci indicator so what you can do once you go over here you need to see the is there any open source so yes there is an open source you can save here my then you will see this is your open source that you can use it so you need to copy and then you need to create your own the new version that you need to paste it and then you can add moving average and another all the different different indicators such as Bollinger, VWAP or multiple moving average but here one thing you need, need to note down so if you classify anything which is which not supposed to be a duplication so here if you see here what they put so underscore zero equal that means this level 10 which is here identify or specification as a show underscore zero so here if i was to put here ema i need to copy first okay copy open new and okay so 
Okay, I'll put here earlier show underscore zero, right? Which is what is classified. I cannot put here ta dot EMA EMA underscore close comma fifty. Alright, so I enter. So once I enter, if I'll save this one, it is showing the error. Why? Because this so zero is already been used, it's already been defined. So similar thing you need to know. So if I'll see here, the, I'm giving you example. I have one EMA which I have created under EMA one. But now I want to put the another EMA which is a 200. I cannot put this simply EMA and the same one. It will be red. Why? Because EMA is already. So you need to add just only one. So whenever you use this same command for your plot, make sure you use the right things. So if you are plotting 200, you need to put that plot. Then after bracket, you need to put EMA1. So friend, these are the two things that you need to understand. And if you go through my video, I'm sure that you will get the benefit from that understanding that how you can merge the multiple indicator. And please remember these two things that which I have discussed to you. And I always suggest you to click on the three dot go to this reference manual and you can get whatever you want if you want vweb here you just type here vweb you will see on the right side how you can use this vweb they give the even example as well if you want some moving average you just type here the ema once you click here you will see the ema all the day then this is also once you go in the details you will know this how to use this all the things like this is the pivot points also that you can get it so i hope this uh, small clarification helps you and once you go through this the videos you will get the benefit of multiple indicator merge and you can still get the benefit in your basic account thank you friends see you on the next video take care bye bye